You're the best person to interview me because you know everything about me. Well, a lot of times people think that's not good because you're not going to genuinely ask inquisitive questions, right? Right. So I disagree because I think you can kind of go a little deeper. So yeah. So I think that's where we're going to go. I but agree too. people always ask me, "How did you and Eva meet?" And we can't ever like pinpoint the moment. I, I, I don't think we've figured it out yet, no. right? The exact moment. Because it was very. I literally was maybe here. I know I was here maybe. You weren't here that long. I know. Three that. months. Oh, so it was right away. Oh, right away. And we were like, boom. Yeah, I remember, did you drive a, was it a Nissan Sentra? Or no, a, was a Ford Fiesta. Ford Fiesta, Fiesta. that's right. <laughs> but like in the same family right there. And I remember- It looked like a, ro you used to call it a roller skate. Right, yeah, it did look like a roller skate, the little hoopty. So growing up in Corpus Christi, because I find it real interesting because being first generation, mm -hmm. uh, Mexican American, yeah. talk to me about the differences and how well, it's interesting because, you know, Hispanics in Texas, we're called Hispanics. Huh. And, and people in California are Latinos or Chicanos. And people in New York are Puerto Rican. You know, they, they, they're more identified with their ethnicity, their, where they're from. Right. Um, so, yeah, we're a very factioned group. And I think that's what makes, you know, our demographics so beautiful is because we all kind of have different origins. You're first generation. I'm ninth generation. We're both Mexican-American. But... Um, the food you grew up with and how you speak is very yeah. different than Tejanos. Yes. And how we speak. Ninth generation. I didn't know that many. That's unbelievable. Ninth generation. We still have the same land in Texas. Uh, and my family was under five different flags without ever moving. They were wow. Spain. Then they were Mexico. Then they were the Republic of Texas. Yeah. They were the Confederacy. And then they were the United States of America. Oh, and the Republic of Texas, too, as well. So it was, like, so interesting, you know, the truth of we didn't cross the border, the border crossed us. I love that expression. Yeah. <laughs> well, before we get out of Corpus Christi, um, Selena, the late Selena, of course, yeah. is from there. Did you ever get a chance to meet her? I did. I met her several times. She lived down the street from us. Um, we lived in the same neighborhood. And, um, you know, she would do these dances every Saturday night. We'd go to the, the Selena concerts, but they were just little, in the little bars, yeah. you know, before she really exploded. And unfortunately, she hit her her stride when she passed, you know. The ultimate thing that makes you most proud of being a Latina is? Wow. The ultimate thing that makes me most proud about being a Latina is family values. The fact that that's central to our culture is family.